We're in, in Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan. We're ready to explore Tashkent. Looks uh, pretty uh, Soviet style. We're heading towards the city. It's supposed to be a bit more beautiful. So we're walking here at Chorsu Bazaar and all kinds of stuff they sell here. I'm not sure what kind of stuff, but it's the main market of Tashkent. So let's see what we can find over here. So we're here. Freshly bakery over here. So people baking bread. And that's the tundra where they're baking at. Look all the bread up there. I'm gonna eat it right now because it looks so delicious. We're gonna try out this delicious hot fresh bread on the bar. Wow. This is freshly made in the tandoor. It just melts in your mouth. It's really too hot to hold. I'm gonna... Yeah, there's the security over here. Uh, I think he's pretty tense and he's for real, so we better just keep being cool because I don't want to mess with this guy. He looks dangerous. <laughs> this is the biggest mosque in Tashkent. It's not as beautiful as the one we're gonna see in Samarkand and in Bukhara, but it's already pretty amazing. I like the detail on the front. Looks a bit like the mosque in Mazar Sharif. It's really beautiful in here, as you can see. The only sad thing is that during the Soviet period, they transformed a lot of mosques into cultural centers. So this isn't a mosque anymore, but more like a cultural set center with they sell all kinds of stuff. Even live music here. I mean, doesn't this just look like, like a wedding hall? And we're sitting here like two real backpackers. So we're here at Dolv Center. Dolv is a national dish of Uzbekistan. It's supposed to be similar to Palau, actually a uh, Kabuli kind of variant of the Afghan dish. This is how it looks like. It doesn't look like uh, Afghan Kabuli, but it does taste really Afghan. Leaving Tashkent. This is like the outer suburbs of Tashkent. We're going to the airport and flying to the other side, I believe to the west of Uzbekistan called Khiva. We arrived at Khiva, it's completely to the west of Uzbekistan and it's an old town surrounded by these fort kind of walls. It's supposed to be really beautiful. We're gonna have a look. It doesn't just look like a scene of a movie like Aladdin. Looks so cool here. It's a dog, by the way. It's not a human. I guess. Looks pretty cool. Seems like people are still living here. In these houses within the walls. I think there's a tunnel over there where they bake bread. These doors are beautiful. Just look how amazing this architecture looks. This is why we came to Uzbekistan for. Wow. This is called Khiva. We're having a bit of delicious green tea with cardamom because the Central Asian culture has chai khanas or tea house everywhere. And that's what I love the most. And this is apparently baklava. Get to the top of this minaret. Probably it's the highest point in Khiva. And as you can see this amazing view here. If you look in the back, there you see the walls, the walls. We climb up the walls and we can look over the old city and the back to see the, the amazing uh, buildings. You can see whatever we come across. Now, no joke, but this beautiful entrance, beautiful place, is a restaurant. It's amazing how to turn this into a restaurant, but we're gonna give it a try. So walking here, let's show you where the restaurant is. Oh wow, like a central pl place here. Hmm, is this a museum or a restaurant? <laughs> Should be a restaurant. So we ordered manti. As everyone know, it's mantu. Apparently it's from Uzbekistan but they don't have any sauce on top of it. It's freshly made, so I'm gonna give it a try. And by the way, this is deliciously freshly made iron. Wow. Just having a breakfast here. Look at this green tea. 
and we're sitting outside in the Central Asian China setting. So good morning to you guys from Uzbekistan. We're in the car on the way to Bukhara. Uh, we have a local taxi, car taxi, and outside it's a bit like. We just arrived here at a bed and breakfast. It's an old building in the old city of Bukhara. Look how amazing it looks. It has its own courtyard. It's an old traditional building. You can see here the terraces and up there is our room. So you guys just keep asking us how we afford our travels. Well, we just rob a bank. That's basically how we do it. This is about 200,000 sum. <laughs> 200,000 sum is actually Uzbeki sum. That's about a dollar, I think. This is a restaurant. We're the only ones here, but it looks so amazing. It's like a courtyard here in the middle. All small rooms around it. Ah, oh, you guess. And they put on Arabic music for us. Not sure why. This is my freshly made kebab, as you can see with the roast vegetable from Marcel. I'm so much looking forward to it because this is like what's delicious about Central Asia, delicious kebabs. Right here. We're inside this chai khana. Looks so nice at night. People just sitting there having a chat, drinking some chai and Good morning everyone from Bukhara, sitting here at this amazing bed and breakfast, just look around us. This is just the best place to have breakfast, isn't it? And we're having a homemade jam with bread and green tea. Just walking here, surroundings of Bukhara, kids playing everywhere outside, elderly chilling on the streets. Such a basic yet beautiful life here. It's uh, Real versus Barca over here, and they're discussing about a goal. I think the referee didn't see it, so I'm not sure what's going to happen now. It's a fair debate here, that's for sure. And one just dancing. We were getting lost here through the alleys, and suddenly stumbled upon this. I think this were Bukhara's famous for. This is one of the old mosques. They turn into cultural centers, basically selling cultural stuff. And maybe the most beautiful store I've ever seen. They left the door open so we can resist going to the roof of this place. And look at the view we have over the old city. It looks amazing. Thinking thousands of years ago, people have wandered around here. We woke up in Samarkand today, which is supposed to be the most beautiful place in Uzbekistan with all its heritage, especially Rajasthan. We've been looking forward to it like for a very long time, first time we heard the name. So let's see how it's going to be today. It's extremely busy here, I'm not sure why. And I'm afraid my uh, claustrophobia might kick in. And we're going to walk through this car. We're going to give it a try and see we had a fight our way in the side, but look how amazing it looks. We arrived at the major site of Uzbekistan, probably the whole Central Asia. It's Rekistan. And right now the shadow is over there, but it looks amazing. This is the Rajasthan from another point of view. It feels like you're here at the Taj Mahal actually. Just as busy as there and look around you. It's a beautiful building around you. This is the Madrasa of Ulukbek, son of Amir Timur. I gave history lesson later on. Gave astronomy lessons 500 years ago. And that's why 
uh, was Dutch and still very famous for all his astronomers throughout the years. The story about Bibi Khan the Mosque is that she built it for her husband Timo Lay, the great emperor. The architect fell in love with her. Of course, the poor guy got executed. And from that moment, um, Timur ordered every woman who entered this mosque to wear a veal, so they won't attract any men. Our day has come to an end here at Shah Zinda Mausoleum, just past sunset, and Samarkand definitely amazed us with all its rich history, and we're gonna dig deep into more uh, history lessons about Timur Shah and his dynasty after him. We just turned on the lights, just at the sunset, and unbelievably, but true, it's just that more beautiful. It's gonna be our last night here in Uzbekistan, so we're gonna eat here at um, restaurant Samarkand. Has a good name online, so let's see if it's worth it. This is how the most uh, restaurants look here. Like we're a wedding party, people dancing. It's really fun. We just bought it somewhere. Can I get a bag? Get the cab. Yeah, we got some bike. Twenty something taxi drivers. I want to wait to board of Tajikistan. Okay, bye. 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 Bye.